do you describe the spiritual life? Do you think this part is also a part part of our spiritual life that teach you something and was necessary to arrive where you are now or no yeah. just... no I think reality is what we are and what we've done is all part of our path and if there is a path as such but all part of our karma and all part of what makes us change and be re reborn in a way and I don't mean that in a Christian way I mean we're always hopefully evolving and going mm -hmm. back and maybe learning and changing and um, having many incarnations in this lifetime and um, yeah I feel it's all part of it I don't have a although it was sad and it was difficult and I wouldn't wish that on somebody I still also honor that it was what brought me to more maturity and more understanding of other human beings suffering so I always look at alcoholic people or drug addicts now with a lot of compassion and love and understanding I don't you know completely whenever I walk past someone in the town center that's laying there my heart feels that knows their pain really I mean I don't know their pain but I feel a empathy oh, okay. I've, seen, I've seen people heal and recover from alcoholism I've also seen people not be able to so I think maybe it's the readiness in some way not meaning in any judgment but um what circumstances they come from what what chances they get um, okay how, how deep is the trauma but you see miraculous things happen in recovery and fellowships and also spiritual paths and also um, with help and support. I think, you know, there's potential for everyone, but there's not always the help and support or the willingness of the person for whatever reason. Yeah, I think that's what I wrote back. I love music. So I play a lot of music, different kinds that I feel I need to express something through music or listen to something that helps me channel mm -hmm. that um i love dancing i love creative movement um sea swimming connecting to nature is very resourcing and connects me to the divine as well and the silence um okay. so and healing to me is a mixture of embodiment work sitting in my truth integrating what i know feeling my own sense of divinity if that's a better word self um and also in connection with other people it's important for me to bring that into some kind of connection yeah that is beautiful yes uh, and what are your favorite outdoors and music <laughs> I think I because when you ask when I looked at the authors I've read so many books they get muddled um I think I just wrote about the last one I I read, which was to do with somebody with PTSD in Alaska that emigrated with their family. It's a novel that's fiction, but it's based on how the family coped with his illness and his trauma and how they basically had to leave him in the end. But it was all the dynamics that go with that and that living very much in the natural world and breaking off from the rest of society. Okay. Um so I like stories about people, really, um, and spiritual novels. I've read quite a lot of the classic ones. Um, and I like to have a, you know, sometimes different sort of self-help um, books as well, just to lean into. I'm listening to a little bit of existential kink about shadow work as well, which is good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you.